Hey guys and welcome to Chris the Fish 03's channel. Still new, still learning and yep, yeah, as you can imagine the picture quality ain't gonna be great because it's all on phones and it might be a little bit shaky. But enjoy the video. Hey everybody, just to let you know, this video is gonna be about changing your tank from gravel to sand. There's two different ways to do it that I find. The first way is to keep the fish in so you can just move all the gravel to one side after taking all the plants and the ornaments out try and scoot the fish out the way get the gravel out that way or what i've done with this one and you'll see in this video is where i've took the fish out and i've done a complete change on the tank so <coughs> i've decided i'm going to empty out this whole tank spruce it up give it a good clean sand it and refill it. So what I'm doing so far to start with is I'm filling a bucket up with undisturbed water so I can put that back in and then I'll get back to you once I filled the bucket up so that I can uh, start emptying the fish out. I'm finding it easier because of how many fish are in there. If I empty them out first it gives me a lot more cleaning room and then I can get the tank back to scratch. So We've emptied all the fish out of the tank and they are now in here. I've put a heater in as well, submerged just to try and keep it going. All my ornaments and the glass I've put in there has got to be cleaned. Got all my bucket ready prepped. I've made sure all the power's off in here before emptying the tank. I've got algae all underneath here, which is minging, got to be cleaned. So then we're going to get a start on it. So basically what I'm doing is I'll put the colander in, scoop the stones up. And then as I lift the colander up and it drains the water away, empty them into the bucket. So I lift it up, drain all the water out. And then empty them into the bucket and repeat until it's all gone. As you can see, it's a bit dirty and sandy and cloudy at the moment, but that will all soon change. Right. So now I've got all the stones out, I'm just, I've gave the whole tank a good scrub down and they're getting all the excess water out with all the rubbish that's inside it. God knows how long it's needed this kind of a deep clean, but I'd rather get out all the bad stuff before I start putting in the sand. I've also got a bag of sand there as well, which is pre-washed. So I don't have to sit there soaking it in and out of buckets for 10 minutes. I can uh, just empty the bag and pour it in. Alright, so I've got all the tank cleaned out. Got all the water out. Still got a little bit of water at the bottom which I couldn't suck out. Tiniest bit of dirt at the bottom. But I'm going to try and scrub all that out completely. And we'll see how we get on, but so far so good. As you can see, it's all looking a lot better. Even the lights are to clean. And then the best way to get the water back out of the barrel is to use a pump. And it goes up the tube and back into the tank. As you can see, I've already put the sand in. So now it's just a case of fill the water up and then see where we're at. And then I've got some live plants which I'm going to be moving from the barb tank and the axo tank into here. And I'm going to try and start using some live plants in here. See how it all goes, eh? Right, so now 
I've emptied out the water from the bucket and the fish are back in there. I've got some more water in here with the chlorinator in it. As you can see the filter's back up and running, it's slowly filling up. Got my hose still attached. I've got a few plants in. Well I've got one plant in and I've got a couple of driftwood. And I've just got to wait for the temperature to come back up as well. But we'll see what happens. Obviously the glass is a bit minging because of the kids' handprints. Well I'll soon have that sorted. Let's get the rest of it done first. The tank's topped up. The light's on. As you can see. Just got to give it a bit to settle. Everything seems to be slightly covered in sand, but that's kind of expected. So now we've just got to wait and see what happens and how it turns out. This is what it looks like at the moment. I've put a few bits in for now just to see how it's going to look. The glass has had a clean. Got a real plant there. Got a couple of real plants at the back, but as, you, as I say, it's a bit murky. Plus, we've got the Java moss on the driftwood or bogwood, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that seems to be looking pretty good so far. Let's just wait for it to clear up now. Alright, so now we're on the morning. As you can see, it's looking a bit clearer. Still not 100%, but I'm going to do a small water change, try and suck out some of the crap out of it, see how we get on. Obviously, putting the sand in and the plants, there's still a little bit of uh, debris on the top for some reason. Not sure why that is, but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did with the uh, gravel in, and it's a hell of a lot cleaner and a lot brighter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and siphon some of this uh, cloudy water out. So I'll shake the uh, siphon, get me my flow. Try and get some of this dirt out of the sand, which has already decided to accumulate. doesn't help, I've got a couple of cribs and an albino rainbow shark in here which likes to keep eating the bloody plants but hopefully these plants will last longer than they did in the barb tank now I'm new to the whole real plant scene but when I got my cichlid tank which is upstairs I also got some uh, plant stuff not a clue what half of it does but I'm going to find out. I know I've got some root tabs. <coughs> so I'm going to try and uh, put some root tabs in here and see what that does. Hopefully I can try and revive this uh, plant at the front back to life. The ones at the back, which I'm not sure if you can see. I'll uh, put a close up of them in a bit. But they're the ones I've got out of the AXO tank. And they seem to uh, be growing quite well. I ain't sure on all the plant names too complicated for me. So take 20%. Seems I only topped it up last night, okay. Probably about 70-80% of it is all still the original tank water. So it's like it's just had a normal water change. But we don't want to do too big a change in case it messes with the parameters. Okay, so a lot of people will say that when you're refilling the water, you're meant to have it at temperature, tank temperature, before you put it in. Me personally, I just use tap water out the hose out the back, and because I'm only doing a small amount, I can do that. I'll prime, seat them condition that into the bucket put a little bit in and then that way 
gets rid of all the chlorinator, uh, the chlorine in it and then I'll just gently pour it back in Now that I've topped it back up, yeah, the temperature's gone from 27, 26 down to 25, 24. But these Hindum heaters are absolutely fantastic and it'll get it back up to temperature in no time. Again, you can see the Java mask getting broken apart thanks to the bloody fish picking at it. And then I'll just come and Waft all the sand off it. Use my fingers. There you go. Over the time, the fish will get loads of it off anyway as they're swimming past it and things like that. So it ain't got to be perfect. But for now, that looks a hell of a lot less cloudier than it did at the start of this video this morning it's all filled up the fish are settling in happily and slowly still a little bit murky considering it's pre-washed sand but uh, we'll come back to it once it's cleared so a few hours later and uh, still a little bit murky we might have to clean the filter again, see what turns out, but uh, it's definitely getting there slowly. So, it's finally done. I've got a few plants in, like extra ones. One, two, and three. I've cleaned the filter out again. It's still slightly murky, but it'll rest now for a couple of days. Obviously, I'll, I'll post a picture later on of it. But uh, the plants, you can actually see now, the real plants. And I've put root tabs in there. Never used them before, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. It's turned out quite well.